everyone, this is Byron and Carrie, and we're here at 490 Wake Robin Trail in Lewisburg, West Virginia, and we're gonna show you around this beautiful property. So I will take it from Byron. First, we'll scroll, pan the neighborhood. So we are in the Rolling Hills neighborhood of Lewisburg. This property sits on almost an acre. Um, in the front of the home, you have kind of country scenic views. It does have this nice newly asphalted circular driveway, plus a two car garage. And Byron's gonna show us in. It is a brick ranch. They do have some decorative siding. Right when you walk in, there is slate flooring in the entryway. And I'll pan around so you can see the living room. So this home has a formal living room and dining room, as you can see here. Really nice, large windows that overlook the front porch area. It has hardwood floors um, throughout most of the main level and um, then a couple of carpeted and uh, vinyl flooring. So this is a nice formal dining room area. And then I'll spin around so you can see how it opens up to the formal living room there. Nice tall ceilings. This is a brick ranch. It can be all single level living and there's also a very large basement. So. Um, you walk right into the kitchen. I'm gonna show you the laundry room real fast and the garage since we're on that this side of the house. So this is the laundry room. It has ample storage space, it has the utility sink, it has vinyl flooring there, lots of storage. And then this is the garage. It is a two car garage. I'm, I locked myself into <laughs> it was unlocked sorry about that it has a screen door and as you can see they have space for their lawnmower and and storage and they typically uh, park two cars in here even with the um, items that you see there that side door goes out to the backyard okay I'm gonna come right into the kitchen nice and convenient drop off groceries and you're right here at the kitchen and we found byron <laughs> so this uh, kitchen has vinyl flooring and quartz countertops and cherry cabinets they go all the way to the ceiling there as you can see custom cabinetry it has a stone look backsplash with under mount lighting and on the sink, you get this beautiful view of the backyard. The one nice thing I like about this lot is you're elevated from your neighbors, so you see over your neighbors towards the back. And then there is the uh, refrigerator nook. The other thing I love about a refrigerator, and Byron can probably attest, if you have kids or lots of action in your cooking, it's very annoying to have people coming in the kitchen, but it's nicely offset there, so you have it and then there's also nice bar stool seating here so you have countertop <laughs> vanna white byron's so this opens up to the den family room it has a gas burning fireplace that's brick and then we will head so just to give you perspective the front door is right there so we just did a big circle we're gonna head into here. This has uh, two primary suites in it. Um, this is the first off of the family room. There you go, it has a shower tub surround. And that's right here, it's nicely tiled. As you can see there. All right, we're gonna come out. Nice hardwood flooring. And then a nice spacious room with lots of windows. This overlooks the backyard. And then there's a whole wall of closets here as well. Okay, we're gonna head on. The, most of the bedrooms are on off of the one wing. So we will head back that way. So now we're entering into the bedroom wing. This, uh, Flooring is a vinyl flooring, and then we go back into um, hardwood. So this is the guest bath, and there's three baths, um, 
five bedrooms total with the two en suites and then it has a sh tub shower surround there. This is um, the second bedroom. This is the first guest bedroom. This does have carpet. The homeowner said that there um, is believed to be hardwood underneath. So you're looking over the front drive to give you some perspective. Nice just hall closet there. This is the third bedroom, second guest bedroom, depending on how you want to categorize it. They, all of them have these nice large windows that overlook the front. And then this is the fourth bedroom total, third guest bedroom. Again, hardwood flooring, closet. As you can see, they're using it, these rooms as offices, but they could be nice, spacious bedrooms as well. And then this is the second primary suite or en suite. It has this nice entryway here. It's a closet straight ahead. And then here is the ensuite bathroom. And then the tub shower surround. And then across from that is the bedroom portion of the bedroom. This overlooks the backyard and the side yard. And again, hardwood flooring. So lots of different living configurations, depending on how you live, how you need your bedrooms. This can, if you have company, that door is nice because it does close it off from the remainder of the home. If you have children and are entertaining, you can put them to bed and not worry about them. We're gonna go downstairs now. So downstairs is um, mostly all carpeted. The carpet is um, just a couple years old and it has the paneling. So there are two rooms down here that if you needed a sixth and a seventh bedroom, you could use them as such. Um, but they do not have, they have a small egress they do have closets, that's a closet in there, but they do have the smaller egress. So we're not considering them bedrooms for this listing, but if you need to live that way, that might be an option for you or tons of different options as far as hobby room, office. Now we are in the lower level and the ceiling heights are well above seven feet tall. It's a nice long space. As you can see, they use it for exercise. There's a nice built-ins here. At the end down there, they used to have a pool table. So lots of fun on this lower level. You still have natural light from the window boxes there. And then this is the um, other room that is on the lower level that if you needed a seventh bedroom, this might be a potential for you. Again, there is no window in here just the closet. So this goes the whole length um, of the house, except there was a bedroom addition. This was used um, as a media room um, for movies, so they could close it up. And then this area is the workshop. So it has concrete floors. It does have a finished ceiling. And um, the door right there, goes to an enclosed exterior stairwell. So you can come down here, um, do your work, go in and out and not get the whole house dirty. Okay, we'll, we'll walk on over, speed things up and show you the utility room. So this is right off the stairs, if you caught that. This is the utility room, has the furnace. Now this um, hot water heater is electric. It's not being used currently. They have a newer hot water heater over here that is running off of gas, which they use. Um, but they left that in case you prefer to have electric water heater.
and now we will go up and out to see this spectacular backyard. So here is the sun porch. It's fully enclosed with um, glass and then there's also screens. So you can have outdoor seating. Thank you, Byron. Byron, what do you love about this place? I mean, this backyard, it feels like a house for a family with a lot of kids. And look how flat it is back here. You can play yes. a lot of cool sports out here. And look at the views you can get while you're playing the sports. I know, I, I'm i looking at it on the camera. It, does, it doesn't do it justice, but there's distant mountain views. There's the Elks Club golf course that you can see from here. And then on over here on that side, is a uh, farmland rolling country again it's almost um an acre of land along that back wall are mature blueberry bushes the owners get about 11 pounds of blueberries there's also an apple tree and then there's the raised garden bed too if you're a gardener and the outbuilding also so tons of space if you want it to be yours give us a call See you guys.